Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And in this one, I want to go over the new monsters. Of course, Capcom just had their live stream. They should have a load of new stuff for Sunbreak, including some new monsters. And there's some fantastic stuff I cannot wait to fight. So, if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below which monsters do you like the most so far. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked because if you want to know all about Sunbreak, you are in the right place. But to begin with, of course, we got another look at Malzano, the flagship for this game. But it's interesting to note because there are three sort of uh, quote-unquote main monsters, so to speak, that are described as the Three Lords. These are the Elder Dragon, Malzano, the powerful and boulder-like Garangol, and the icy wolf-like Lunagaran. They are said to be an infamous trio of monsters that all threaten the lands of the kingdom. So of course Malzano we know as the Elder Dragon covered with elegant silver scales, drains the life of other living creatures, creeping around at night and attacking its prey from behind. It's basically Dracula, and they say that though Malzano appears regal at a glance, it takes on a more sinister appearance after draining enough energy. And of course you sort of get a feel for that because in the original video it sort of had its typical more like regal look to it but we do see it looking pretty menacing in this trailer but we then go look at a brand new monster garangol which actually looks super awesome it's kind of like a sort of gorilla in that regard obviously it's got the sort of frankenstein style face but i'm just liking the sort of uh it, i mean it's basically a gorilla let's be honest right i like it it's characterized by its massive and rigid body and garangol have sap like fluids that can promote plant growth forging a symbiotic relationship with flora that grows in their bodies they can also use that sap to harden plants or the surrounding soil outfitting their bodies and enhancing their attacks it's also worth noting that for this one specifically its left arm is covered in moss and its right arm is covered in magma, so it can actually use both fire and water elements, which makes me incredibly excited for maybe the weapons, because of course sometimes you get those cool double element weapons, I'm thinking especially like the dual blades for this thing, might end up having the like fire water split, which could be really, really cool. And of course it's uh, pretty big, has a lot of moves where it like pulls boulders out the ground and just sends you flying, kind of reminiscent of say Blangonga, that sort of thing, so definitely expect those kind of antics. Of course we've got a little bit more on Lunagaran, which is the azure covered fanged wyvern, with an organ that chills the air that it inhales, which then circulates throughout its body in a unique form of thermoregulation. It can travel long distances and endure significant environmental changes, allowing them to occupy a wide range of habitats. It's also worth noting that of course it can freeze its body to create armor, and they revealed in this trailer that when it gets enraged it stands up on its hind legs, sort of really embodying that werewolf feel and getting pretty aggressive. Of course, as mentioned if you guys caught our last video, we have confirmation that Astalos is making a return, one of the fated four from the sort of Generations saga. This of course described as the large flying wyvern with crest shaped organs that can be vibrated to build and store vast amounts of electricity, violent to a fault, they're known to mercilessly drive intruders from their territory. We of course know it as the green lightning and it has the cool Kamen Rider slash Power Ranger looking armor sets. So. I'm super excited to see this guy come back. I feel like Ryzex or Astalos has always been one of the Fated Four that gets the least attention, so I'm honestly so glad to see it make a return, even though I am a Glavinous fanboy. We also then got a look at our first subspecies, because often when it comes to like these G-Rank expansions, the Master Rank expansions, we get those sort of subspecies, and we see one for Bishaten, which is really cool. It's the Blood Orange Bishaten, named for their auburn fur. These subspecies stuff their belly pouches with pine cones, and they use these pine cones to pelt hunters with, and then they use their breath attack to ignite them. So instead of throwing just like random fruit at you, like the regular Bishaten, this one throws explosive pine cones. And I've always liked Bishaten armor, of course we'll get the uh, Master Rank version this time around, but having the more sort of auburn color to it will actually be pretty nice. Of course on top of that we have Shogun Zenitor, they didn't show that in the trailer but we got that from the previous one. And we did also get a look at some of these new little, uh, I'm not entirely sure what these ones are, the sort of drone, the prey, but they have these weird donkey ears, and we also got some Vespoids. So there you have it, there's a little look at some of the monsters so far, of course some brand new ones, again let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and do be sure to keep it locked because we've got more sunbreak content coming your way so if you want to find out more details about the game then this is the place to be and of course don't forget to click this video if you've missed our most recent upload for more stuff from sunbreak